Okay, tonight uh, I am going to show you how to make potato cake. And I'm a little reluctant to do that because you're going to think, oh gosh, it was that easy to do. And you've always thought that it was like really fancy and really hard to do. But uh, anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make potato cake. And it is awesome. And it really isn't very hard. And it's like all these other things I've been showing you. You just got to kind of do it the right way. So um, pretty simple. So I have, uh, oops, I've got some peeled potatoes here. These are uh, my favorite Yukon Golds for this kind of thing. They are not too starchy, but they have enough starch that they nicely hold together and they obviously taste, taste great. And so uh, you can use different sizes with this because we're going to slice them all to the same thickness so they cook evenly. And actually it's easier to do this with some bigger ones, but it's also nice to have a few smaller ones and I'll show you why and where you want to use the smaller ones. So uh, you can do this with a knife, but it's easier to do it with a box grater. So on the box grater, you have this one side that um, has a one single sharp edge and will slice things like potatoes really nicely. And actually it doesn't work for a lot, like it doesn't work very well for carrots, but it works very well for uh, potatoes. So here you have your peeled potatoes. I'm not gonna show you how to peel them. And all you do is you, run them through that one side and you got to be super careful because your fingers are also very soft and uh, it will cause you trouble but just make sure that you get all the way through so it's making nice little slices and what you'll see is there you go see sometimes they come out not great like that but generally speaking, you're going to get pretty decent, uh, pretty decent slices out of them that will do nicely for making the potato cake. So I'm going to do the rest of these, and then I'm going to show you how you put it into the saute pan to make the cake. Okay, so I've got my potatoes all sliced, and here I've got my saute pan, and this is about, this is I think an eight inch saute pan. And I had uh, six or seven good-sized potatoes. So like always, you want to get your, uh, your pan hot to start. And you need to put a fair amount of um, oil and butter or non-butter in here because one of the keys to this whole thing is getting it out of the pan. So um, I, I started with a bit of olive oil and then some butter and you want to make sure that you get that all over the pan, including the sides, as much as you can, really, on the on the edges there. So just kind of go around the go around the pan like that, so you get it all nicely on the edges. And then you, so my pan's hot, but now I'm going to turn it down so it's pretty low because this is going to take a little while. And we're going to start by layering in some of the smaller ones, okay? So here's the thing, you start with a nice one right in the middle, and then if you have one that's like this where it's not a great um, whole slice, it's okay, you just put it so you have the nice edge kind of on the outside, so you're going to see the edge. So imagine we're going to flip this out onto, uh, onto a plate, and so you're going to put kind of nice looking ones around the edge. So we had one in the middle, and now we're just going to go in a circular pattern around like that making our way out toward the edge of the pan. And you see that it's making kind of a pretty shape there with the potatoes. And, the, so you, and you also see now why it's important that they're all sliced very uh, thinly and also the same thickness because that's how they're gonna cook. So now I'm going to go to a little bit bigger one, but because I ran out of the little one. But that's okay, so I just keep making my way around the edge, or around the, around the pan, sorry, toward the edge. And I like to get as many as I can on this first layer, really, because then it will look really pretty, because this is the layer that's going to get browned 
as it cooks both on the stove and then in the oven. Okay, so so here's our first layer, right? And when I get these kind of scrappy looking pieces, I kind of layer them into the into the middle. I want I want nice ones. I want nice ones on my first layer all the way around. So see I get all the way out to the edge of the all the way out to the edge of the pan and you can see that the butter is kind of cooking up there on the edge that's good. And so now what I do is I continue to layer. Now what you need to be careful of is there's a tendency for it to get um, built up quick, more quickly in the middle than on the edges. And what's key to this whole thing is continuing to layer like this because that's what's going to hold it together. It's going to keep it, keep it into a uniform shape and hold it together when you move it around. And also you need to make sure that you keep going all the way out to the edges. Oopsie. And it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but it does have to be, you know, nicely, nicely done. So you're keeping kind of an even, even thickness as you're building it up. Now sometimes you'll get something like that where there's a little piece. Try to get, if there's a, a thick chunk of potato there, you want to get rid of that. Or if you have one that isn't, um, you know, kind of a similar thickness to the to the others, you want to you want to get rid of it. So after I've done a couple layers like that, then I season it with salt. Okay, so you give it some salt. There we go. And now I'm going to continue to layer, and I'll bring you back in just a minute. So can you see that okay? It's a kind of a glare there, it looks like. All right. Okay, so here are the potatoes. And I'm seeing that there's kind of a glare uh, on them when I have it in the other place. So I wanted you to see them like this. But here's one thing that you need to do. When they're cooking like this, you got to just kind of move them around a little bit to make sure that they're not sticking, okay? So I'm going to move you back up here, and a couple things. So you see that I've maintained the circular pattern the whole way around, and um, now we're ready to get this guy into the oven. So I've salted it a couple of times going through, and now I'm going to put some butter or, uh, you know, your non-dairy butter. Either one works perfectly well. But a fair amount here, and this is really going to help it cook, okay? And if you don't do this this step, you're going to find that the ones on the top and the kind of the whole top half come out pretty dry. Then it's a, with no fat at all. It's difficult for them to to cook. So there's some butter. That's a couple of tablespoons or so of butter. And now you're going to take aluminum foil. And you got to do this carefully because your pan is super hot. But I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. And I cover it up pretty, pretty tightly. And it's ready to go in the oven, okay? Now watch out when you, um, watch out when you take it and put it in the oven because the foil will come off. But it's ready to go into the oven. And that's going to take probably about 25 or 30 minutes. Okay, and we'll check it. It's important that partway through we'll check it and make sure that it's not sticking. We'll continue to move it around there a little bit um, and, and we'll check it to see how it's doing. Okay, let's check our, our potatoes here. And be super careful because it's really hot. Look at that. So you gotta move it around. So you see how beautifully that's cooking? You move it around a little bit just to make sure it's not sticking. Definitely not quite done yet. I'm going to put it in for about another 10 minutes or so. But it's doing great in there, okay? Okay, I've just pulled the potato cake out of the oven. I want to show you this thing. Okay, look at that. Not sticking at all. And you can see that it's nicely cooked, right? So you, what you can do is take one of these pieces and taste it. 
and it should be beautifully cooked. And these ones on the on the top will be really soft. You can take a knife and stick a knife uh, through the through the middle of it to see if it's cooked all the way, and you can definitely tell if it's um, if it's soft and cooked all the way. So here's the moment of truth for this thing. Here's how you do this. You got to be super careful because the handle of your pan is 400 degrees because it's been in the oven for the past half hour. So you got to be really, really careful doing this, but it's not as hard as it seems. So you take a plate that is larger than the size of your pan, and you put the plate over your saute pan, okay? And then what you're going to do is in one motion, you got to put your hand down so you're pressing hard here, so it's pressing the pan down on the, the, the pressing the plate down on the pan, and in one motion, you're just going to flip it over. Okay, ready? So flip it over. And there's your potato cake. Now be careful, your pan's really hot. Maybe I get it into the center a little bit. But there you are, okay? So that guy is ready to go, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cover it with foil. It's gonna stay warm until my steak is done and we're ready to serve dinner.